Hello, it's the Stupid Genius 55 once again. And before we start the video, I'd like to say I'd like to give a little shout out to Ogorat Straw One. You can check his link in the description, or you know, click on that little annotation there, unless you're on an iPod. And also uh, another shout out goes to Bolts to Brain Ratio. And if you haven't seen Mr. Absolutely, that's Mr. Absolutely Flawless's new channel, by the way. If you haven't seen him in a while, he's moved to a new channel, and that's where it is. So, and. Three more shoutouts each to the good old boys from the Runaway guys. I mean, the USLP. Well, they, I guess, I guess they just gave Chugga Conroy, Nintendo Capri Sun, and Proton John SA a shout out as well. As well as Josh Epson, but we'll give, be giving also a shout out to the USLP people. So it's Green Trump 1. SNES Jad, that's nice. I can't even remember his name for a second. And DJ Origin. Uh, one more for Eliogamy25, that's, check out his channel, and, uh, another, another shout goes to you, yes, the viewers, thank you viewers, I guess this isn't really a shout out since it's very general, and last, but certainly not least, me, okay, bye. Hey everyone, genius 55 back again, and guess what I'm doing, Go Tell 4, you know why, you know why I'm doing it? Because I realized I actually haven't done the new version yet, so... Like, I had the old one that with, you know, the desync audio and everything, but... I don't know if that one did, but... But yeah, I actually forgot... I just realized, looking through the playlist, and I realized I forgot this one, so... Here we go, let's delve in. Now we'll delve in. It still gets me, why? And he's crying because he failed the assignment. It actually does look a little blue. I mean, it's more of like a gray. I thought it was like a gray. It's more of a blue, I think. Oh, don't worry about it. There will be other missions I think he, the tears fell into his iced tea now. Look at that. Forget about work for now and let's go have some fun. Okay, sounds like a good idea. For episode three, of course. I mean. How about we go to the circuit? Okay. I have to get to my first, but I'll meet you at the circuit. Just take the bus; it'll get you. All right. Bye. Okay. Take note right here of the umbrella that appears right beside the right beside the bench. The color of that. It's gonna come in handy later. Yes, this, that's right. That comes in handy later, this bus stop you cannot go back to. It drove me crazy when I first played this, but... Yeah. So you'd think of the idea, the smart idea would be to go to the circus, right? Well, as a Chug Connor would say, NO! It's not the good idea. You go to the museum, or you can go to the park first either, but you have to look for a clue, I'm gonna show you what you need to notice, because you have to actually answer some questions later. Why does it say specifically museum entrance? Why not just museum? It accomplishes the same thing. Yeah, the game actually, and the thing is, the game actually expects you to go to these places, even though it tells you to go to the circus. It actually, the, because Tabitha asks when you get there, what took you so long? You say, oh, I had to look around for some stuff first. So, the game actually expects you to come here, so. That screwed up. Go moving right. You know it says move right. All you really do is move up to the painting. Gee, I wonder if this is going to be important later. Spoiler alert, it is. This is I'm showing you what you need to look for. I guess this whole thing is a spoiler alert. Or you should just keep the fact that this is a spoiler alert in mind. Which I guess I should have told you earlier, but... You know, better late than never. Okay, so you also want to go to the park. You know, the nice, playful park, you know. It's nice, you know, relax a little. Go into the park, yay! 
Okay, what is up with this park? It is creepy. In fact, see that tail right there? Yeah, yeah, see that? Click on it. Look what happens. I love how I actually just realized I like wrote that in blood. <laughs> Key on a keychain. That's what you need to remember. Do they say like nothing here or something? I know, we need to go back to the bus stop now. I don't know what the hell is up with that park. Where can I take you? Take me to the circus. Yeah, just Hi, talk to her. Hi, Jasper. What See, see, expects you to go to those places Sorry, first. To check out a few things. We need tickets to get inside the circus. Do you have any? No, I don't. Then we can't go inside. Let me know if you do find any tickets. Yeah, you. Yeah. Well, if you think you should go to the ticket booth? No, because okay, I I can't imitate that properly, but no, you don't go there. You talk to the clown. The clown will give you tickets. But, uh, but it won't give you them for free. You have to look around and answer some questions. That's right, this is where it comes in handy. Hi, do you have a free guest pass I can have? I want to go inside the circus. And you gotta click yes, so. Yes, I know who you are. I'm one of hey, I didn't fans. ask you to tell him that you're, his, one of your, you're one of his biggest fans. What was it there? Omelette. Oh, you could at least eggs. Because, you know, if you select, if it does, if you select that, it'll be wrong, but I don't think I saw eggs there. So, do you select keys? What do you think if I'm asking you? No, you select keychain. I actually noticed that, and it drove me nuts the first time. And this is what drove me nuts, because, yeah, this is... Because when he says, he's talking about the umbrella that he left at the bus stop, so... Color is like, I think I don't think you can see me mousing over this, so... It's basically sort of at the center left, that green, if you can't see where I'm... That center left sort of area, that, that green. All right, let's. Oh wait, you have to talk to Tabitha first. Hey, wait. What about me? Oh, yeah, you gotta talk to Tabitha first. That's a little odd. Hey, Tabitha. I got Why can't you just talk to her on my automatically then? The circus now. All right, let's go. No, you can't buy anything here. This is just for decoration. I was wondering, why does the ghost that Joseph is sitting beside, like, not Tabitha, but the other one, why does it look so uptight? I just watched Circus. Hey, you click, I'm done watching the show. Here's what'll happen. Okay, why is he just looking forward? Like, he's not even turning his head or anything. And there he is. And, okay, and how did this demon just come in? Like, no one else noticed it except for Ray, And then just took her. With no one else trying to resist. How did he walk in there? 
I mean, if I was waste if he like, you know, killed the ticket booth guy, then sure, then sure I can understand that. But nobody noticed, including Joseph. Maybe he came from the other side, but still, somebody should have noticed. Can you help me? ruckus. They're not even. He's not even turning his head or anything, which seems kind of odd. It's like it's so stiff. To be continued. Well, I guess if you're watching this in order, you would have seen it, but well, not because I'm gonna put this in in between episodes three and five in the playlist. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to me if you like my videos. Rate and comment even if you don't like my videos. And this has been another episode of Stupid Genius's Stupid Genius 55 Let's Play of Ghost Motel. Up next, the finale. Like I'm gonna skip ahead to episode 11, but if you're watching this in order, you'll see next Ghost Motel 5. And if not, then go to Ghost Motel 6000.